What is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and we are back again with some more Earthbound. In the last episode we got set up with the entire the of the introduction. And basically there's this alien in the future who's trying to kill me. Um nice. His name is Gygus and I'm supposed to be finding some sanctuaries. And there's a snake outside, literally right outside my house, so oh fuck. <laughs> Oh no, come on dude, come on dude, <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? God damn dude, I literally lost 12 HP Be because this man attacked first. Alright, I'm gonna fix that right now. Do you hear that? Move, King. That's the sound of Earthbound Beginnings right there. I was actually in this place a lot more earlier and I was listening to it and I was like, Yo, isn't this the same tune? I'll probably show a comparison side by side. Regardless, whoa, why did he go so fast? God damn. Well, you're dead, so sucks to be you then. Hey, present. I probably don't want to be near there. I probably just want to go down here. Also, I still cannot find a stupid... God damn it. A stupid run button, so I'm gonna assume there isn't any. Whoops. Use the library more. Hmm. God damn it, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I just need to press one button. The library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow mouse for nothing. Really? Oh, that's a really poor looking library sign. Hi! Kids can borrow only maps at this library. Do you want to borrow one? Here's a map. Annette isn't the only thing on the map. All the info is there except for the info that isn't there. Jeez. Who would have thought? Pressing the X button allows you to view the map at any time. How convenient. You know, the X button located near the top. Uh huh. Wow, this is a way better map than uh, the one in Beginnings. Yeah, it's only showing on it, but I'd rather have it. Sh I'd rather have it show this one little tiny town than back in fucking Earthbound Beginnings where I couldn't tell what anything was. At Giant Step, there's a monster guarding the spot from the outside world. No one knows what the mon when the monster made Giant Step its territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. Jesus Christ. Man, a few words is useless talking to him now. What other things do we have in this library here? I'm cramming for the big bet test tomorrow. It's about games. Hotel rule. If you stay at the hotel, you wake, you wake up with full HP and psychic points. Life recovery rule. Recovering your life will give you full HP, but zero... Psychic points. Hmm, I bet this stuff will be on a test. Are you taking a test for Earthbound or something? Were you required to play Earthbound Beginnings as well? Because if so, I feel sorry for you. Cryptic ass game. I'm already liking this game a lot more better than the first one. Recently, I sensed the presence of UFOs flying around. Or am I just dreaming? 
I recently read a book titled Our Convenient Society. It said that our modern society demands that there always be an ATM in hotels and drugstores. Just knowing that it's convenient. I'm glad I read the book. I can't believe I didn't know this stuff. I'll check whether or not we have an ATM in our drugstore. An ATM in all hotels and drugstores. Great to hear. I read the book called Our Society is Convenient. It is said that these days there are always telephones in hotels and drugstores. I also learned that to use a green pay phone costs a dollar, while the black phones are free. If you weren't aware of this, all your money could get eaten up by your phone calls. I'm glad I read that book. Money was never that much of an issue in terms of phone calls back in the first game. I doubt it's going to be an issue here. It's only one fucking dollar. I mean, yeah, I'd rather not waste a dollar, but... It's Aw, oh, asshole. Uh, no, I'm in here. Don't try to come in. Especially if you don't need to use a bathroom. What a dick, honestly. <laughs> I just come up and he's like, no, nah, gee, I need to take it. I can't believe I saw it with my own eyes. I was staring out the window and it was just fluttering there. I'd only seen it in the encyclopedia before. What was it? A magic butterfly. If you get close to your magic butterfly, all your cares fly away, just like a fluttering butterfly. That's the effect of the legendary magic butterfly. I love talking about it. Oops. Sorry about the uppers. I just got carried away with all the talk about lovely butterflies. Is that supposed to mean something to me in the grand scheme of things here in the game? Because we are in the library after all. I'm researching Giant Step. It's located north and west of Onnit. I heard it possesses a special power. Giant step. He said it was north and west of on it. This map is a lot more smaller than I thought. The um, the distance between the library and my house is very large in this map, so. But if they're talking about that little if they're talking about that little little shed over there at the north, is that supposed to be the giant step? Don't talk to me. Uh, I'm thinking. What an asshole. Genuinely. <laughs> Even if I wasn't going to use the restroom, this man literally just was like, just gotta go. Do I have to return this? Hi. It's not necessary to return the map from now. Come back in the year 2001 to return it. <sighs> Sounds like my library fees. I'm just never gonna come back then. So what do we have over here? Let's check out this giant step thing that people were talking about. They said it was a, a north west of on it. Ness, I'm doing watch out duty for the hideout. Can take over? Oh uh, sure. Just kidding. Being watch out is my job. Find it. Be like that. You're busy. I understand. All right. There's gonna be a troll regardless. <gasps> what the fuck? I was not gonna let that thing attack me first. Why is it five damage? What the hell? It's normally three. I am not your enemy. I'm simply your average run of the mill mole. I thought you were my enemy, Jesus Christ. Would you like some hints on fighting enemies? Listen carefully. My hint involves which way you are facing when a battle with an enemy occurs. If you allow enemies to approach you from your back or side, they may get a surprise opening attack. When you approach you this way, your TV screen, no, no. I mean the world in front of you, I mean, I mean the world in front of you will show a red swirl for a second. On the other hand, if you approach an enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise opening attack. In that case, your TV, oops again, the world in front of you will show a green swirl. The point is, try to fight so you always have an advantage. Giant step. North at the top of the map. Danger, do not enter. I'll oh, be the judge of that. For God's sakes, people. 
Traveling Entertainer's Shack. This shack was locked by somebody from City Hall, so we can't use it. The reason it was closed was because a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes, and the hotels are too expensive. I heard there's a big footprint on the hilltop behind this shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. Do not enter. Bro, let me in. Let me in! I just want to see it. Yeah, I low key thought this mole was just gonna attack me, so I was trying to prepare for it. But I guess I didn't need to. Hey, what's good, G? The arcade is full of sharks. I can't play there. A girl named Paula lives in Tucson. Tucson. Her mother runs a preschool out of their home. I can't remember the name of school, but I heard Paula is really special. Why is she special? I forgot to ask. Oh well. Foreshadowing. Welcome to a beautiful Annette, the wildflower of Eagle Land. The flowers in the garden are representative of those in your heart. Treat them both nice. Aw. I'll be honest and say no clue what I'm supposed to do right now. Let's just stand in this building right here. Psst. Whisper. Whisper. Psst. Psst. Shh. Whatever them say, over here says. Right. Whisper. Psst, psst. Ha ha ha. You jerk. Because. <laughs> okay. Okay, I guess I just can't get in here at all. Is there no way for me to just skip it entirely? Yeah, I have no clue where am I sp where I'm supposed to go. The drugstore is to the east. East is the opposite of west. Drugstore! Don't you think you get more food value out of 14 bucks worth of burgers than 8 bucks worth of french fries? You'll feel better and more energetic if you eat better foods. You know, you'll recover more health if you- You know, you'll recover more health if you eat more expensive food. Oh. I'm so much more relaxed here. They never ask me, would you like fries with that shake? Oh, I remember I used, I used to work in fast food. It seems like I'm always here. I hope you don't mind. I remember working in fast food and I would always have to ask the customers what if they wanted to add like a fucking dessert or whatnot. And the thing is, it's like, yeah, it's company policy and whatnot. But like, for fuck's sakes, like if they wanted a fucking ice cream, they would have asked me. Like, it's the whole reason. Like, it's the whole reason that... People get desserts is because they want it. They're looking after it, but they don't. They normally don't want to come in and get something as well as a dessert at the same time. I've seen, I've seen it happen more often. You get what I'm trying to say. Look, I just hated asking everyone if they wanted a goddamn ice cream. I don't know why was that so hard for me to say. Hey, I know you. Your hard-earned cash is important to you. You should call your mom. It's probably it. Got an ulcer? What the fuck? Oh, she don't. I'm Rufini, the dog. I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game designer. Do you see the window showing HP and psychic points at the bottom of the screen? When you go to the store that has equipable items, the window will either flash or look normal or become black. If you are allowed to equip an item and is stronger than your current item, the window will flash. The item's power is equal to or less than your current power. Window looks normal. If you can't equip an item, the window is black. That you'd like to know. Now it's time to become a regular dog again. Cool. What? Oh, you hurt my feelings. Alright, how much money do I have? Let's draw. 85? That's quite a lot. Alright, I'm gonna see what these items have to do, so I will be right back. Okay, so I ended up finding out what some of these items do, and the thing is that I need to go find more money. 
In order for me to find more money, I need to be in more battles. In order for me to be in more battles, I need to obviously search around here and on it. Well, there's a snake, so I'll do what I have to do. Wait a minute, why did it go red? What the fuck? Why did it go red? I went right in front of him. Ooh, baby, let's fucking go. That's a lot of, that's a lot of leveling up right there. I guess I technically don't need to level up. It's just, well, I technically don't need to attack enemies, but like, if my understanding is correct, then this should be exactly the same thing how it works in Earthbound. Earthbound beginnings in which that the more I the more enemies and the more I level up then the more money I get And I need somewhere of about like $50 or so I actually didn't even I actually didn't even see if Can you move G? I actually didn't even see when my dad left me so many more money, so I'm gonna have to do that right now It's your dad. I deposited 22. Uh, well, I mean, 22 isn't that bad. Excuse me, what? Was that just an auto win? Was I just too buff for this man to do anything? Okay, I just... I... I guess... I guess the game thinks that I'm too buff for these guys. Which, hey, at least I don't have to deal with them anymore. I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go to the basement. Whoa there, chief! Hold on, I just got here. I don't know if you think I'm a big liar, but maybe I'll surprise you. Uh, what do we have over here? You know what? Before I do anything else, I'm just going to be using one of these cookies that I still have. And you know what? I might as well eat another one. Because why the fuck not? Alright, my G. What do you got uh, cooking up over here? I have no clue what's going on. So, Ness, buddy. I found proof of a great treasure. A huge haul. Yeah, ha ha. I'll show you. But you're the only one. Come on. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? If this is a sign of what lies below, I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up the buried treasure. I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now, you're getting in the way of my work. You may start to get greedy thoughts. Can I... The hell was that? Can I take it? I am starting to get greedy thoughts. Mostly because I feel like that statue will help fund my... My adventures. Is that so wrong to think? I don't know what that G is smoking, but I know he's up to no good. I don't care what anyone tells me, he's up to no good. What the hell is that? The magic butterfly made Ness relax. I don't know what that means, but okay. Alright, I finally got what I needed to get, so I should be. A lot more sussed up and I should no longer be taking a beating I can finally explore more of what on it has god I hate these spiteful crows I moved I moved here from the way 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 away next town and the next town there is what is this name uh, polar star preschool the preschool is at Paula's house Paula uses what is it called a uh, magic Hmm, do you mean psychokinesis? God, I fucking hate these crows. 
There's no way I'm gonna lose to this asshole again. I technically haven't lost yet, it's just that these guys keep dodging my goddamn attacks! Finally. This is what I've been dealing for like 10, 10, 10, 15 minutes straight. Also, they keep leaving me with a shit ton of cookies. Like, the thing is, is like, it's HP, yeah, but I don't have that much space. If one of your friends becomes unconscious, you should visit them at the hospital. You should check with the nurse receptionist, and she will release your friend. It's a nice thing to remember, but it's alright if you forget. Thanks, Granny. Appreciate it. I like how the writing for the entire city just kind of looks like a child drew it. Rumor has it that the shark's boss is hanging out near the giant step. Or rumor has it that I didn't ask. But thanks for telling me. Oh, aren't you Ness? Is it a school holiday today? Have you done your homework? I'm gonna brush your teeth before going to bed. Have you been wetting your bed? Jesus Christ, guys, come on! Why would I want to answer all of that? Aren't I like a 12 year old? The mayor's office is on the second floor. You need an appointment before you visit. I'm going to have to stop you if you try to see the mayor. Not on my watch. Oh shit. The mayor's busting his bow at all the troubles in town, like the shark and the meteorites. Hey, are you the guy who's trying to reform the sharks? Wahoo! You've got to be kidding me! Scram! I'm not trying to reform the sharks or anything like that. I'm just. I'm just a fucking kid. I just wanted to see the mayor, you know? Have a beer with him. Well, not have a beer. Have an apple juice with him, you know? You don't have to be so. dickheadish. And you, you said you were gonna stop me, but you never did. Hotel on it. 35 for a single room? What the hell? Say something funny. I'll listen. Uh. Yeah. Your mom? I can't wait any longer. I'm going back to watching the news. It's funnier than you. Oh, fuck off, dude. I'm hella funny. Plain old garbage in the trash can. Okay, pop quiz. A Beatles song, XXX today. Can you fill in the blanks? That's correct. I'm impressed. Oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> oh, I get it. Can you fill in the blanks? I, I said it. It's yesterday. X, X, X today. It has to be yesterday. So I said yes. It's like, correct. I'm impressed. No. This is a Beatles song. Notre Day. <laughs> Wrong. What did I walk into? No, wait a minute, youngster. I could give you a great hint for just 35. Hell no. So you're telling me you don't want a hint? You're, the, you're either awfully confident or 35 is too much to pay. Anyway, a young man like you is very unusual these days. If you haven't need a hint, come back. I'm here all the time. I can imagine. I mean, at least I'd rather have a $35 hint than a $1,000 hint. Like that bitch back in Spokane. When you're in trouble, do you think you'd ever like to have a hint? Why don't you get a hint from the next house? Gee, Pops, I don't know. Maybe because it's expensive. You look so helpless. Are you okay? Fuck off, bro. Also, that car just spawned right in front of me. What was that? Skate punk and what? Are these guys the sharks? Oh my god. They're shredding on me. He called for help and no one came. Hmm, where have I heard that one before? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Where did he come from? That was weird to say the least. 42 experience! Holy shit! 
Hell, I'll throw away a fucking cookie. Throw away. That had to have been the sharks. Otherwise, I don't know why they just came on to me. Hello, and you are? Say, have you ever suffered from some type of sickness or condition that you couldn't get cured at a hospital? For example, being diamondized. Your head gets as hard as a diamond or mushroomized where you have a mushroom on your head. Or if you're ever stuck with these types of embarrassing conditions, we of the Magic Healing Shrine are here to ease your pain. We're ready and waiting in the, in the lobby of hospitals all over the world. The person next to me is the great teacher of magic healing. Though you may not believe it, I am a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Do I need some help? Uh, can you purify me? Hell no! I'm not busy right now. Shall I explain about the hospital system? If a good friend of yours becomes unconscious, come to the hospital right away. As long as you have the money for the doctor's fee, you'll be able to see your friend completely recovered in no time. Besides being unconscious whenever, you don't feel so well, come and talk to a doctor. Everything I just told you applies to hospitals all over the world. Hey, thanks. No problem. I heard it around here, our doctor's number one. <laughs> I can examine each one of you for $20. No thanks. You really don't need treatment? <laughs> yeah, sorry doc, I'm fine. I got, I got me a shit ton of cookies. You see, they work fine. When I came to visit my friend at this hospital, I somehow slipped and fell in the hallway. So now I'm staying in the hospital too. This could be the basis for a great tragic tearjerker. Oh, maybe not. Jesus Christ, old people. You gotta love them. Welcome to Onnit Hospital. I run the place. I gotcha! Sorry, I'm just a patient here. I was smashed by a mouse. Wow, you probably gonna need more than a hospital to help you out. I don't know, maybe like bring in a vet veterinarian or something? If you're wondering why I'm- Hey, what's that? Get it! Oh shit. What's good, punk? Square up! Yes Man Jr? What the hell is Ness Ma Yes Man Jr? Also, this battle music is just... I don't want, I, it's not terrible. That's not, that's, that's not, that's not what it is. It's just interesting, to say the least. Square up, bro! Oh. Do you want to start a fight or what? Oh, okay. I just need to talk with him. Wait a minute, I'm looking at this guy's head. It looks like a shark fin. Alright, these I I'm convinced these guys are the actual sharks that the town is worried about. Do you wanna meet Frank? You don't want Frank to beat you up, do you? I don't know who Frank is, and I'll be completely honest and say I probably shouldn't care. Actually, I probably should care. Frank might be, he might be the thing that progresses the story along. Because I still have no clue. Where am I supposed to go? Squirrel, pal! Squirrel! I need the XP. Why are these, why are these guys even going after me to me to begin with? Like, I know I'm saying score up and whatnot, but even then, like... Why do you want to go up against like a fucking 12 year old? And you're losing anyways, so... It's just more demoralizing. Square up, pal. I'm not done with you guys yet. Oh shit, he brought him back up. He fell down. 
Yeah, I'm really glad that uh, I got I got my uh, what you calls it the items from the drugstore because this has been a lot more easier than those beginning battles where I kept fucking losing. Well, not losing. I just wasted so many times with that stupid spiteful crow. And of course, he calls for help. Yeah, look at these two. Like, like, look at their heads. It looks like they have shark fins. I've been damaged. Jesus Christ, man. Like the. Uh, like this this music right here just sounds like a fucking clown fiesta right here. It sounds like a circus So let's go. I leveled up the road to Tucson is closed. You can't just squeeze through roadblocks either on that is famous for roadblocks Don't talk to me. I'm on duty until I have chief strong's permission. I can't let you through I swear these guys are like Anti-immigration these guys are unironically anti-immigration here and on it Square up! I'm not pussying out. Square up! Right, the skate punk is the bigger, is the bigger threat here. Oh, so I realized that I am very close to actually dying. If this guy bat, if this guy charges forward at me two times in a row, I will die. Yep. These guys keep dropping hamburgers, so I should really start taking advantage of that. What? You want to meet our boss, Frank? He's in the backyard of the game arcade, thinking about peace and love. You might want to visit him. Okay, so I literally look everywhere and on it, and this is the one place that I haven't tried looking for. Because this is where they all said the sharks would be at. Square up! It was you! You beat on my buddy, didn't you? You better just beat it. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, G my G, but... Your, your, your pals, your buddies, your folks, your guys, they, they, they kind of suck ass. I'll take another hamburger. Square up, buddy! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sound like a real winner to me. Don't get lip here, I'll kick your butt. What, is he not gonna square up? Now, who's the real pussy here? What's up here? Go back down. Hey, kid. You wanna become a member? No. Don't be such a snob. Why would I want to be a member of you guys? I mean, to be fair, even if I did become a member, you'd probably still try to find some way to kick my ass. So I'm not even gonna fuck around with that idea. You guys can just get the hell out of here. All right, Frank is probably through that door. You're not gonna say anything, are you? Yeah. Frank is through that door, so I guess that means I'm gonna have to beat up everyone over here. To tell you the truth, I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables, but that doesn't fit my super cool image. I guess I just have to accept this about myself. When you buy an item that should be equipped, do you bother to actually equip it? I gave a <laughs> I gave a hint to my own enemy. I'm such a rocking dude. I must have total confidence in my own abilities. So, are you ready to get on it, Spanky? My G, I'm telling you, your friends are ass. Look, what you're gonna end up doing is you're just gonna call one of your goon friends. Actually, never mind, you're just gonna die. That, this works, this works even better. This works better in my favor. Spit, 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 saliva, spit, spit, and you want some gum? Get your own twit. Jeez. Alright, so it's clearly obvious that these guys aren't gonna fight me. Frank has an incredibly powerful weapon. If you get your hands on it, I bet you can stand against any enemy. But yeah, to the guy who likes to drink tea and eat vegetables, good on you! 
At least you have morals, you have principles, you have priorities. <gasps> Magic butterfly! I don't know what it does. I should really look into it. All right, Frank, it's over. I'm Frank. You are? Come on. Can't you at least say your name? Oh, Lord. Isn't this the hippie battle? The hippie battle music that... From Earthbound Beginnings? Frank came out swinging! Dun 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 Holy shit, Frank! Please don't kill me! Oh my god! Please! Hit! I don't want to die right now! I just started the game! Wait a minute, he's probably gonna attack first, right? Oh, okay. Taking advantage of him not attacking me. Suck it, Frank! You can't beat the Ness. Fail proof Frank can't be beaten. And this is Frankenstein Mark II. Oh shit, come on. Uh I'm scared about what's gonna happen. Okay, 17, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. Oh, so he's just saucing up for a punch. Wait a minute! Oh, come on, dude! I'm not gonna lose that easily. I doubt hypnosis is gonna help at all. He's not gonna do it again, is he? Okay. He didn't do it again. Which means I can eat a hamburger. Alright. Please kill the stupid thing already. Thank you. God, it sucks being this low leveled again. I kind of wish I had my PK Fire Omega from first time beginnings. This is my first defeat. Fail proof Frank is not just failure, Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get to Giant Step. That's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading to Giant Step is behind the touring entering shacks. Perkle, the mayor of Onnit, has the key to the shack. Ness, you become stronger than I. The adventure's just beginning. Are you are your goons still gonna just try to beat the crap out of me? Yeah. 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 You sure are strong. You got me at least. What are these guys are all gonna have respect for me now? Well, that was interesting. Doubt the police are gonna do anything. Even though I just beat Frank. I beat quote unquote fail proof Frank. But let's see what Mayor Perkle has to say. That prick better tell me what to do because I still have no clue what I'm supposed to do. All I just need is that stupid key to the giant step. And his ass is gonna give it to me. 
Since you beat up the sharks, you're the talk of the town. Mayor Perkle's waiting for you. Jesus Christ. Word gets around here in town fast. Thank you so much for all your help. Hey, no problem, G. In the next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. This is Mayor Perkle? I thought he was the pilgrim looking ass from the all the signs. Hey, 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 I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. So nice to meet you. You beat up the town's bullies. Punch them out big time, kick their butts, bit their heads off, spin their eyes, and made them wet their pants. Then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. What? Want a key to the touring entertainer's shack? For someone as great as you, giving you the key could help keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Uh, politician's answer. You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. Well, this has been an experience, to say the least. I throw kind of hurts, not gonna lie. And I've explored the entirety of Onnit, so I don't know how much I want to keep. I don't know how much I'm gonna edit out or whatnot. But I've basically gone through the entirety of Onnit. And as much as I would like to end it off... Um, going to Giant Step, considering that it's technically not in, not within the, um, the map, because they said the Giant Step is just right after it, so, I'm gonna take them on their word. Anyways, I think that'll be it for the time being. My name is Pixel Love. if you enjoyed watching the content, then leave a like, comment, and subscribe and whatnot. Share the videos with your friends and whatnot. Listen to the podcast. We just dropped a new episode just recently. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Memento Mori and whatnot. And take care.